Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Swarna Mams Biology. In this video, I will be explaining you about the most important and interesting topic that is ECG. Let us start. In my last video, I have explained you about the working of the heart. And we have covered even about the structure of the heart. Now today, I will be explaining you about the ECG and some heart disorders. We are more familiar with this scene where the patient will be brought um, in an emergency theater that is ICU in the movies as well as serials where he will be connected to the mission so which will be showing some recordings and it will be showing some sound peep 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 like that and uh, uh, means the doctors will be saying whether he is dead or alive means basically this mission is used to say whether the heart is functioning or not means the patient is dead or alive. Well, ECG may also be helpful for the Schrodinger to determine the state of the cat, whether it is dead or alive. So what is ECG? So it is electrocardiograph, means that machine which is used to get that recordings is electrocardiograph and the recording which is seen on the graph, graph paper, it is electrocardiogram. Now let us define what is this electrocardiogram. So electrocardiogram is a graphical representation of the electrical activity of the heart during the cardiac cycle. Means we have discussed about the cardiac cycle. It contains mainly three phases, that is atrial systole, ventricular systole, and cardiac diastole. So, the, whether the heart is functioning properly or not, means the working of the heart is proper or not, is represented by the electrical activity of the heart, So, which is nothing but our ECG. So, ECG is a graphical representation of electrical activity of the heart during the cardiac cycle. So here, the patient is allowed to lie down and he is connected with three leads, one to each wrist and even to the left ankle. So and uh, how his heart is working means in different phases of the cardiac cycle is recorded in an electrocardiogram that is machined and we will be getting a small graph paper means a small slip which is showing the readings how the each phase of the uh, cardiac cycle is taking place which we call it as electrocardiogram. Okay, so if we want to get more uh, accurate readings and uh, about the heartbeat, even multiple leads are even connected to the chest re region. Okay, so multiple leads are even connected to the chest region. So this is about the electrocardiograph and electrocardiogram. So when we see a standard ECG, means for a normal person, so when we get the readings of her, uh, his heart, means different phases of the cardiac cycle, so it contains mainly these phases, so which are represented by waves, which we call them as P wave. So here you can see P wave, QRS complex and T wave. Okay, so this, uh, this electrocardiogram, contains uh, these phases, these uh, waves, so which are represented by T wave, QR complex and T wave. So what are these means? So we know that uh, the heart, that is uh, the cardiac cycle contains three phases. So what are they? They are atrial systole, then ventricular systole, and cardiac diastole means where the entire heart is going to a relaxed state. So each phase of our cardiac cycle is represented in the form of a graphical representation which we are calling it as electrocardiogram. So now what is this P wave? So it is our atrial systole. So whenever the SA node, so SA node, we know it is a pacemaker of the heart. Whenever the SA node, so whenever the SA node, so initiates the contraction, 
means uh, um, whenever the SA node uh, initiates the contraction, so atrial starts to contract. So the atrial systole, which we calling, which we are calling it as atrial systole, and whenever the atria contract, we even call it as depolarization of atria, and this atrial systole is represented by what is called as this P wave. So this P wave is atrial systole. It lasts for about 1.0.1 uh, second. Okay. So whenever the SA node start contracting, means uh, whenever it sends the initiation signals of contraction. Okay. Mm, so this uh, atria start contracting. Okay, what we are calling it as atrial systole. And this atrial systole is uh, represented by P wave. It, it is about 0.1 second. Then after the atrial systole, now the blood will be sent to the means. Uh, we have seen the cardiac cycle. After the atria, atrial systole is ending, uh, before that, what happens? Uh, the AV walls open and start sending the blood from the atria to the ventricles. Now ventricle starts contraction. Okay. So this beginning of the beginning of the ventricular systole and all the phase, all the things which are taking place in the ventricular uh, systole is represented by a complex which is called as QRS complex. So here at the end of the P wave, so at the end of the P wave, the atrial systole ends. Means here the ventricular systole begins. So the AV here when we uh, see the ventricular uh, uh, systole, it also contains three phases. Um, means not phases we can tell. It contains three steps. First the AV walls will be opening, sending the um, blood from the auricles into the ventricle. Semilunar walls open. So when the semilunar walls open, the blood from the respective ventricles will be sent to the respective arteries means from the right ventricle it will be sent to the pulmonary artery whereas from the left ventricle it will be sent to the aorta so later uh, then the semilunar walls get closed then the ventricle relax. okay so all these things will be happening during the ventricular contraction so which will be represented by a complex which we call it as qrs complex this qrs complex means starting from this end that is the starting of the the ending of the p wave the ending of the p wave and from here up to the end of the T wave, we call it as, uh, uh, means uh, we call it as ventricular systole and mainly this QRS complex uh, indicates the ventricular, uh, means those three phases where the blood from the auricles is sent to the ventricle, then the closure of the AV walls and opening of the semilunar walls and from here the ventricles start relaxing, means the depolarization, the, that is repolarization of the ventricles takes place. Always here during the contraction depolarization occurs whereas during the uh, relaxation repolarization of the um, atria or ventricles occur. Okay, so here in the QRS complex, depolarization of the ventricles occurs. D, depolarization of the ventricles occurs. Okay. And here, here, repolarization of the ventricles are occurring. Means the ventricles start relaxing. Okay. So, um, at the end of the T wave, then the ventricle relaxation starts. Later, it proceeds to about 0.3 seconds later. And here, so, if you see the entire cardiac cycle, if you uh, remember, I told you that the entire cardiac cycle lasts for about 0.8 seconds. Yes, in that 0.1 second is. So, the entire cardiac uh, uh, cycle lasts for about 0.8 second. Yes, do you remember? In that 0.1 second is this atrial systole. Then Q, this is QRS complex and up to here. So starting from this end, so for, starting from this, that is ending of the uh, ending of the P wave from here to here. The entire thing is ventricular systole only. Here so many things are happening. So the ventricles start contracting. That is AV walls uh, uh, open, send the blood from the auricles into the ventricle. Then semilunar walls open, sending the blood 
from the or from those respective ventricles to the arteries that is pulmonary artery as well as um, aorta then semilunar valves close before that only av valves also close preventing the backflow of the blood so all these things will be happening during the cardiac cycle so entire thing is represented by what is called as qrs complex then when the blood is sent um, into the respective uh, that is uh, pulmonary artery as well as aorta, the ventricles start relaxing, means repolarization of the ventricle start. So this here, the starting of the ventricular relaxation begins, that is repolarization of the ventricles is starting and here the ventricles relax completely, that is ventricular diastole is happening, then the entire heart relaxes, that is cardiac diastole proceeds. So Later also, the cardiac diastole proceeds. Again, the next P wave starts. Okay. So, this will be happening like this. So, first is P wave, then QRS complex, then ventricular relaxation, then the entire uh, heart relaxes. Again, atrial systole, then QRS complex, again ventricular relax, the entire cardiac diastole happens. So, these phases will be continuing like this only. So, what is representing the each phase of the cardiac cycle? So, these waves have to be represented like this only. Any deviation from these waves represents some abnormality in our heart. So, this is about the standard ECG. Okay. So, now, we have seen the standard ECG. So, if it is not uh, like that, means any deviation from the ECG. So, we call, we study it as disorders of circulatory system. It may be because of several reasons. So, one of the reason may be that is a high blood pressure, that is a hypertension, which we call it as. So, here we are seeing what is uh, this blood pressure. So, here we are coming across the word blood pressure. So, when we see our blood vessels, so in the blood vessels, the blood cells will be flowing. Yes, during the flow of these blood cells, they will be striking the wall of the capillaries. Yes, they, are, they will be striking the wall of these capillaries. So, which causes the pressure, which we will be calling it as blood pressure. So, normal blood pressure of a healthy human being is about 120 by 80. So, numerator and denominator. So, it represents the systolic pressure as well as this represents diastolic pressure. Means, when the blood is flowing in the blood vessels, that is uh, capillaries, so the blood cells will be striking the walls which causes some pressure. So, we have seen the heart will be contracting as well as relaxing. So, that pressure is measured during contraction as well as relaxation, uh, relaxation of the heart, which is represented as 120 by 80 mm of Hg. So, this one, 120, represents uh, when the heart is in the contractile state, that is systolic pressure, whereas 80 is diastolic pressure, when the heart is in the relaxed state, means when all the chambers of the heart are in the relaxed state. For a normal blood pressure will be about 120 by 80 mm of Hg, means more than uh, 150 or more than 90, we, means 150, more than 150 by 90, we call it as a high blood pressure, which is called as hypertension, and sometimes it may be very low less than 100 or less than 60 we call it as low blood pressure or hypotension okay and when we see how the bp is measured it is measured by using the instrument which is called as pignomanometer so it is used to measure the bp of an individual and we are more familiar with this that is stethoscope which is uh, necessary for recording of, of our heartbeat. Means how our heart is working. So I said I said that there are several heart disorders. So let us study some of the heart disorder. So first one is coronary artery disease, which is uh, represented as CAD. Okay. So what what is this coronary artery disease? 
so here the arteries are necessary for carrying the blood means uh, when the blood is flowing it has to flow smoothly okay so when the lumen of the arteries becomes narrow because of deposition of fat or deposition of uh, some uh, fibrous tissues or deposition of calcium if it is shown here if you can see there is deposition of calcium uh, so what happens the blood will not be flown smoothly means the blood will not flow uh, to all the cells or first the heart or from the heart smoothly. So, which causes severe heart disorder, uh, which is termed as sclerosis, or which is called as atherosclerosis. It is a coronary artery disease. So, the next one. Then the next uh, disorder is angina pectoris. So, what is this means? When the blood vessels are damaged, then what happens? The heart muscles will not get enough oxygen. So, when the heart muscles uh, will not get enough oxygen, then it leads to the death of the person. Okay. So, it is also um, the major disease which will be, means major disorder we can say, which occurs in the middle-aged persons. Then, the important one is heart failure. Okay. So, which is, uh, which is uh, um, known as a heart attack or cardiac arrest. So, where the heart failed to supply the blood to the body parts. When the heart fails to supply the blood to the body parts, then immediately the person loses his life. So, let us take a small test. So, which type of the blood vessels carry blood away from the heart? Means, they carry the blood from the heart to different parts. So, what is this? So, we are uh, uh, more familiar now. They are arteries. Why? Because arteries carries blood from the heart to the different parts. So, the veins are the blood vessels which carry the blood from different parts to the heart. So, the correct answer is arteries. So, another question. Why does the blood turn dark while circulate through the different parts of our body? So, why is it so? Mainly because the oxygen... Um, when the blood is uh, supplied to the different parts, what happens? The oxygen in it gets uh, displaced by carbon dioxide. Means the blood, when it is going to the different parts of the body, then what happens? The oxygen present in the blood will be replaced by carbon dioxide. So what happens? It becomes dark. So let us see the options here. It starts to clot. You know, when it clots, what happens? The person loses the life. Inside the body, the blood never have to, means the blood must not clot. The farther the blood, is, means the next option, the farther the blood is from the heart, the more darker it will, no. It get old and dirty flowing through the body, no, it is also not a good option. So, the best option is the oxygen in it gets displaced by, displaced by carbon dioxide. Means the oxygen present in the blood will be replaced by carbon dioxide present in the tissues, okay. We know that uh, the blood carries oxygen from the um, from the uh, heart to the different parts and even it carries the bad blood from the different parts again to the heart. Yes. So, means again it will be, means that uh, uh, lungs are purifying the impure blood. Understood. So, uh, when the blood is carried from the heart, uh, means when the blood is carried away from the heart, it gets darker. Because the oxygen will be displaced by carbon dioxide. So, this is a summary of the entire lesson. Means uh, the entire circulatory system. Body fluids and circulation. So, we have completed, uh, I think, four videos regarding this body fluids and circulation. In the first one, I have discussed about the uh, components of the blood, lymph, plasma, etc. And we have discussed about the structure of the heart in one video, then the working of the heart, that is cardiac cycle and double circulation. So, this is our last video regarding this body fluids and circulation. Okay. So, let us review here. So, the blood is a liquid connective tissue which is present in the vertebrates. So, we have studied about lymph also. So, lymph or tissue fluids are also used in transportation of the substances. So, what is blood? It is a plasma plus formed elements. Okay, blood minus formed elements, we call it as plasma. So, what are the formed elements which are present in the blood? They are RBC, that is erythrocytes, WBC, leukocytes, as well as platelets. When we see RBC, it has two surface antigens and thus different blood groups formed in the ABO blood group system. We have even discussed this about uh, uh, in one video, that is ABO blood grouping system. 
another antigen that is rh is also present on the rbc which uh, which is necessary for identifying whether the person is rh positive as well as negative and we have discussed that human circulatory system contains blood blood vessels as well as heart and the cardiac musculature, musculature is auto excitable means uh, the uh, the muscle of the heart excites by itself because SA node is the pacemaker of the heart. It is the one which is initiating the contraction depending upon the action potential means which is generated in the SA node depending upon the blood pressure outside and inside. And we even know the stroke volume is about 70 ml of the pump blood by each ventricle during the cardiac cycle. So cardiac output is stroke volume into heart rate. So the normal heart rate is 72 uh, 72 times per minute and put is the blood pumped per one minute and whereas stroke volume is the blood pumped per one uh, one heartbeat understood so the heartbeat 72 times per minute so heart, cardiac output is stroke volume into heart rate means heart rate means uh, it is per one minute understood so cardiac output is stroke volume into heart rate means cardiac output how we can define it is the amount of the blood that is pumped out per one minute so one minute how many times the heart beats that is 72 times so stroke volume into 72 we know stroke volume is 70 ml so 70 into 72 it will be about uh, nearly 5 liters which will be coming out means uh, nearly 5000 ml so it is 5 liters means the amount of the blood which will be pumped out per one minute is 5 liters so ecg we have discussed ecg or electrocardiogram record the electrical activity of the heart during the different phases of the cardiac cycle and what is double circulation it is systemic plus pulmonary circulation we call it as double circulation so this is the entire thing about the uh, body fluids and circulation we have completed the body fluids and circulation lesson according to our ncrt syllabus Video, please give a like, share, and subscribe my channel, Swarna Ma'am's Biology. So, meet you in the next video with a nice topic again. Thank you.